All right, so we're going to get, we're going to jump right in. Um, and one of the things I want to talk about, because everybody loves to hear about it, is Rank Brain. That's great. Okay. <laughs> what is it? Yeah. Um, All right, let, I'll ask the question differently. What does it do? Um, Rank Brain is a um, machine learning algorithm. Um, a deep machine learning algorithm, basically layered neural networks, um, and is trying to predict what would be a better result from a given result set um, based on historical data. Um, it looks at a bunch of signals, um, but essentially it's, it, it adjusts ranking uh, based on the query. Um, it works really, really well with, um, with queries that we've never seen before. Um, for so most, long tail queries. Yeah, long tail queries. Um, we typically use in ranking data collected for, for specific queries to um, decide how to, how to rank uh, results uh, for that specific query. But if the query is new, then we don't have that data yet. Um, and that, that's where Rank Brain excels. Um, it can make predictions based on similar queries from the past how to, uh, how to rank results. Okay, so uh, is that because it's doing language analysis? Is it doing historical query analysis? What's the kind of stuff? I think that's you going are going too deep here. <laughs> um, it's doing many things. Um, it's many things? Yeah. Well, can we get a list? Um, you could. <laughs> Although, yeah. Well, so it yeah. was originally no, discussed can. like uh, it was primarily focused on query analysis. That, that's what I thought the original yeah. uh, indications that yeah. people gave about what it did. But it yeah. sounds like there may be some other elements to it as well. It has multiple elements that query, or looking at a query and trying to predict what, or Looking at a query and uh, similar queries from the past is the, right. the main thing that it's doing. Right. So if we were to geek out on that for a moment, it's recognizing similarity of queries based on high-dimensional vector space analysis yes. and the proximity of one query to another. You all got that, right? Yeah. OK. Um, so all right. Uh, so it hasn't taken over the uh, entire algorithm? No. Um, it's, and probably it never, no, I can probably say that it will never take over the whole algorithm um, or the core algorithm. Um, it's one of the components that we have in, in, in ranking, um, and it's really just one of the hundreds of signals that we, that we have. Right. right, so it's not involved in links or no. it, local no. search or spam no. analysis or... No. They may use their own machine learning algorithms, but um, Rank Brain specifically is only focusing on re-ranking based on um, uh, query similarities. Right. Okay. And the algorithm has been very successful for you. Yeah. Um, it quickly became the third most important algor algorithm that we have oh, in so ranking. So that's great. Third most. That's like Jesus. a big number. <laughs> yes, it is a big number. So that's it's really the third most important because we have tons of long tail signal. queries. I'm sorry? We have tons of long tail queries, so it's quite easy to become the uh, third most important when you are working on, on long tail queries. So this relates to something I heard a long time ago, which is that uh, um, a very large percentage of queries that Google gets every day have never been seen before. Yeah. And at true. one point, uh, I think, uh, I forget who it was, somebody said it was as high as 20 or 25 percent. Is that coming down over time, or? Uh, I don't know the exact number now. But, OK, so if it's responsible for something like 20% of the queries are very long tail or first time ever seen, that actually would be a lot of queries that RankBrain is actually acting on, potentially. Yep. Um, I also had a conversation with a, a Google spokesperson that I can't name. It wasn't you. Uh, and what he told me is that it isn't that RankBrain is 
only applied to certain queries. It's actually present all the time. It yes. just only has an impact on yep. certain queries. Is yeah. that So accurate? if you think about it, the it, RankBrain is part of the core algorithm. The core algorithm works on every single query. Right. And then the, the many components that we have in the, in the uh, core algorithm uh, will try to make a decision whether they should do something or not. Uh, RankBrain is one of those. Um, it sees the, or it looks at the query and it decides that, okay, I have nothing to do here. It's, it's already ranked pretty well, so I will not do anything. Um, and in long tail cases, it will uh, make uh, adjustments to the result set, the ranked, the already ranked result set.